Hi Aquarius, welcome. My name is Trina and this is TNT. How about we get into this steps reading for you? So let's get at it. Here we have what's happening now. Steps one, two, three, and four. And your goal. So four steps up to your goal. And we're gonna clarify these. Okay, what do we have here for what's happening now for Aquarius? Swan Spirit, time to take a deep dive. Time for a deep dive. Okay, why do we have Swan Spirit here for Aquarius? Deep dive. Okay. The Tower. The Three of Cups. And the Hermit. The Tower, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit. Interesting. Okay, so we have the Tower, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit on Take a Deep Dive. So... This is like, you need to go deep within yourself, do some really deep introspection, um, some soul searching, really. Um, it, it does signify that this is okay to do with friends. There's a unity card here. So if you need to do this with friends, you don't have to be 100% alone if, that's not co if, if that doesn't work for you. Um, you do have the tower here, so it's like something prompted this. Something happened that prompted this, something not good, but that prompted you to do this introspection that is necessary for your goal to be achieved. Okay, what's step one here towards your goal? Ants. Selfless, strong, hardworking, and dedicated. Okay, so you need to dedicate yourself to something here. That'll be step one. Be selfless, maybe, and hardworking. Strong. Okay, why do we have ants here for Aquarius? Seven of Wands. Hmm, I see. The moon. Yeah. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is an absolutely a dedication to yourself here. You need to dedicate yourself to yourself so that you can do this introspection and do the soul searching all the way through thoroughly. Okay, step two. Crimson. Dominance, courage, and strength. So it looks like it's going to take some courage and strength to get through this. It's probably not going to be easy. But it does, it does signify here that you can do it. So, um, why do we have the Crimson card here for Aquarius? Can you clarify? The Hanged Man. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. Okay. It's because you're, you don't want to be alone here doing this. Um, you would like a connection. But like I said in the beginning, you can do this amongst friends. You can do this with a partner, whatever you need to do. You just have to make sure that you go deep within yourself and do that soul searching no matter who you're, who is around you physically. Because you have the courage and strength to do so. No matter who's around. So go ahead and have that connection if you want it. That's not a problem. Okay. And you're creating some kind of abundance with this. Something abundant. Okay, step number three. The wheelbarrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, burdens, baggage, repair, renovation. So... After this soul searching, I'm guessing that you're going to have to do some fixing of yourself. Um, this probably involves you tweaking yourself to be the person that you want to be or the person that you authentically are. Why do we have the wheelbarrow here for Aquarius? The Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Cups. Okay. And the King of Pentacles. So you have to walk away from something in order for you to truly be authentically who you are and do what you need to do there to be who you are. Um, it, it is going to create stability for you once you do find out who that is. And this is all for emotional fulfillment, um, to have that harmonious connection here and be happy with it. I'm not sure what you're walking away from, but I'm sure you know. Okay, step four. Pink Moon Awakening. Okay, why do we have the Pink Moon card here for Aquarius? Awakening. Yeah. So you're going to be awakened here so that you can achieve your goal. You can realize something so that you can achieve your goal. Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Good. So you're going to come out of this with a whole lot of confidence. You're going to come out of it with feeling love for yourself. You're going to come out of this introspection also in a place where you can take care of yourself if you need to. You don't need anybody to take care of you. Even if you want to be in a connection, you don't need that. That's, what's, that's what needs to be 
before you can achieve this goal here? Well, let's go ahead and see what the goal is. Ah, uh, yes, freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Like I said, you don't need this connection to be happy. You just want it, and that's okay. You can want it, but being truly free is feeling like you don't need a connection to be to be to do what you need to do to live your life, to survive. You don't need that. So this introspection here, that's working up to feeling genuinely 100% through and through, like you don't need that. Okay, why do we have freedom here? Okay, we have the High Priestess. We have strength. And we have the Emperor. Yeah, so these are. this is definitely a goal you can achieve. You just have to follow the steps properly. So once you follow the steps, you will be able to achieve your goal. That's definitely what's signified here. There is some, some secret knowledge here, something hidden from you perhaps, um, but you have the strength to find that, you have the will to find that. Um, even if you don't know you do right now, you will figure it out. Anyway, that is your steps reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Take what resonated and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If you liked this reading, please feel free to like, share, donate, comment, subscribe. All of those things will help my channel grow. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you have a wonderful day.